it's Rhiannon from RMH Art. Welcome back to another speed paint in uh, like a sketchbook series. This one isn't in my normal sketchbook, uh, but in a large A3 pad. Uh, but yeah, so I really hope you guys like this piece. And yeah, let's get into the chat chat. Um, so today I wanted to talk about a few things. Uh, what's going to be in store for my art channel. Um, uh, sorry, my art channel. My art um, this year and yeah. So there's a few things that I wanted to talk about. And the first one is I'm thinking about reopening my art store and on Etsy and also my website. But yeah, like now that I have a new baby, I am like I'm really excited to get back to uh, like what I was doing uh, before I had my little man. If I open it, I'm really nervous about um, how uh, if by getting orders and that sort of thing, if it's going to be uh, too too stressful um, or too much while having a young baby because my little man Lucas is seven weeks old on Sunday. At the moment he uh, needs a lot of my time obviously um, and anything that I say in this video I really hope it doesn't sound like I'm complaining or not so grateful uh, to have him in my life because he really is the light of my life and he's just the cutest little thing. I'm just so so happy but I guess also I don't want to let art slip and be gone for too long and people forget about my art or you know like I've worked really hard um, to get to where I am uh, so far so yeah I really don't want to see that slip away so I and also like I love making videos I love uh, painting obviously and um, just even just running uh, my art business and making orders and you know talking to people that message me like all of this like makes me so so happy um, and so I really yeah I really want I really want to get back to that as well um, and find like a balance between like being a mom a new mom and also uh, having my art business and uh, doing my YouTube and all that sort of thing so I'm sure it's something that's going to take quite a bit to learn how to juggle but yeah we'll see how see how it goes so I am a little bit nervous about how much it might be trying to juggle uh, being a mum and then opening my store um, even like say doing these YouTube videos like this year with YouTube like um, obviously like I don't make any money with YouTube like my art channel is like super super small um, and that's totally fine like I absolutely uh, <laughs> It surprised me about how addicted I got to making videos once I did start my YouTube channel. Um, and so I really want to keep doing my YouTube. Like this year, like it would be like amazing uh, if I could hit like a thousand subscribers or like even uh, not even just like hitting like a thousand subscribers, but for like um, getting to know you guys more, um, you know, and just building like a little community um, and helping people or inspiring people if I can. Um, yeah all of this like just it honestly makes me so happy and yeah so i'm really excited to continue to grow youtube and keep making videos yeah wow it's getting really hot um it's been raining a lot uh the last like week or so and now it's like super humid today oh. yeah it is something else that's going to have to change this year in my art store is so i normally uh, allow since i've started selling my art i normally allow people to lay by paintings um yeah, and just I wanted to do this over the years because like someone that can't afford to pay for the whole painting uh, like up front, like but can lay by it, like it makes my paintings more attainable. Um, and you know, if a piece is going to make someone happy, then um, yeah, I've always been happy to uh, allow them to lay by it so that you know they could have that piece in their home. But like last year, like um, and I never really found this before. Uh, last year it wasn't a big deal, but um, yeah, last year I had so many people um, just not stick to like um the lay by um or they like i had one painting um that's still not paid and uh it's i think it's been like the lay by like was supposed to be for like i think it was five weeks or six weeks or something because um, it was a really big piece and yeah it's still not paid um and so i'm not really sure why this is the case i'm not sure if it's like people um they say they can afford a painting and they start the labor and they realize they can't afford it or um you know just life stuff pops up and you know they can't afford to make a payment um but yeah it makes it really hard because like obviously like art is my full-time or was my full-time job and so it makes it hard to obviously continue to earn money um and run stuff smoothly when um paintings aren't being paid on time especially like say it's hard when i start a labor and someone's like dragging it out really long and then 
to know that like I get other inquiries about um, the painting and could sell it to someone else uh, you know who has bought a painting before and wanted to buy the painting um, but have already started labeling it for someone else and for them to to drag it out is um, it, it can be quite frustrating um, so I'm actually not going to do lay by anymore. Like I don't, I might mean that I won't sell as many of my paintings. I'm not sure, but it's it's just it's very stressful uh, chasing up people with payments and paintings and blah blah. So um, yeah, that will be a different change this year. Uh, something I also wanted to do uh, this when opening my store, um, which I um, which I was hoping to open it in like a week or something like that, was to have like a new collection or some new pieces. Uh, I started a piece on Monday, and <laughs> honestly, like I haven't had a chance to to start painting or to continue painting it since I started it on Monday. And <laughs> normally, like I would be finished this painting by now, um, but it's definitely becoming uh, apparent how much time I don't have. Like I use the time that I can. Um, when little man is sleeping, he sleeps like really well for one day and then for the next two, three days like will not sleep much at all um, except at night time when I'm sleeping um, and so it makes it really hard to sort of, yeah, do art stuff. Um, like I was editing this video this morning and while he's sleeping now he's awake um, and when he's awake, uh, yeah, a lot of the times he, he really just wants to sit with me and just love me. So it makes it quite hard to do some painting <laughs> or anything like that. So it's just a big adjustment. Yeah, so I've just got to make sure that I take each day at a time and um, yeah, just go with the flow and try and not put pressure on myself, which is something I'm very much known to do. So I'm really happy with this watercolour piece that um, you're watching. If you're still watching, I'm so sorry for the ramble. But yeah, so I'm really happy with this piece, how it turned out. I love um, all the blobs down the bottom. Uh, not a very technical term. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm really happy with how this piece turned out. Especially for the fact that like I don't feel super comfortable with watercolours uh, or inks uh, yet. Um, so yeah, the fact that I finished this piece and I actually happen to like it is so awesome. I'm really excited to get some higher GSM paper so that I don't run into the paper that I do have buckling because I think the paper that I'm using uh, today, I think it's like 220 uh, GSM or 280 GSM. So I'd really like to get some uh, thicker paper, but the paper that I'm using, like this lower GSM, is uh, absolutely fine for um, just learning and practicing and yeah, that sort of thing. So this year, uh, I want to definitely uh, keep doing my YouTube and making my videos, having my videos go up uh, every Friday. Um, if I can, if I have time, I'd love to do like a second video on a Tuesday, but I think it'll probably just be, uh, yeah, one video a week for a while. Um, and if I do a second video, it's just going to be a, like it's not going to be a permanent thing that I'm going to be able to promise because yeah time is of the essence and I don't have much time at the moment but yeah so I'm super excited we've hit 360 subscribers um, as of today which is very exciting so I'm just going to keep going with the flow yeah and just take this year as it comes and do the best that I can not be lazy uh, but just know what's possible and what's not and just sort of be kind on myself when you know I can't achieve as much as I want um, because now obviously I have different priorities and yeah so I, ho I hope you guys like this video um, sorry about the ramble <laughs> but um, yeah just so I'd like let you guys know what's what's happening and the changes and yeah say goodbye goodbye no he doesn't want to say goodbye I gotta go